Make your vo voice heard. Attend a protest. Speak up against injustice. 25-year-old YouTuber and internet sensation Logan Paul went on one incredible rant on his show. Now, I'm going to play this for you, and I'm also going to tell you why this is so important and why this is not really just a you know uh, about Logan Paul, but also about the kind of impact that this has. Watch. Listen closely. One of my biggest learnings from all of this, and I'm embarrassed that it's taken me 25 years to realize this. It is not enough to be not racist. You have to be anti-racist. Yes. <clears throat> Condemn those who feign superiority because of the color of their skin. Friends, hold friends accountable. Hold your family accountable. Hold yourself accountable. And most importantly, we must hold our authorities accountable. Police officers, politicians, policymakers. As Killer Mike said, bully the politicians at the voting booth. Mm -hmm. Make your vo voice heard. Attend a protest. Speak up against injustice. If you're white, if you look like me, use your privilege. And for those who do not think white privilege exists, you are fucking blind. You are delusional and you are part of the problem. I can count on zero hands the amount of times that I have feared for my life at a routine traffic stop. That has never happened. Half of the reason I'm able to get away with some of my hooligan shit I do in my vlogs is because I'm a white kid. I'm confident that I do not have to fear for my life should the cops show up. Acknowledge and weaponize your privilege. I believe we're going to a protest today. You can bet your fucking ass I'll be in the front line. Knowing all this about America, it's racially charged background, it's inability to truly treat humans as equals, even after 244 years since its inception. We must now work towards finding the solution. And if you are an influencer or a celebrity friend of mine, I hope you are using your platform to continue to spread the message of solidarity and unity. I do not have all the answers, but I know we must now reverse engineer the system as a collective. We must open our eyes and realize that there is only one race, and that is the human race. On behalf of Breonna Taylor, we must change. On behalf of Ahmed Aubrey, we must advance. And on behalf of George Floyd and the hundreds of others who have been unjustly murdered in this country, we must evolve. All right, so that was, I think, so important. His language here and his, his explanation, his ability to educate his largely apolitical audience. We're talking about an audience that is mostly Gen Z, uh, mostly apolitical. This is, this is why it is so important. When you have a platform like Logan Paul does, millions upon millions of people watch, watch Logan Paul, watch his show, watch his vlogs. But what he does is not, usually not political. But, enabled, but for him to be able to engage on these issues and now educate that audience that likely doesn't know any better and help them understand why things are the way they are in terms of his ability to do what he does, the antics that him and his friends do on his vlogs and, and him being able to, to um, communicate the fact that it's because of his privilege that he's allowed to get away with the things that he does. And even mentioning things like traffic stops, where, you know, I've, of course, had the same experience. I've been stopped by a cop once in my entire life for an out-of-date license plate sticker. That was it. And I didn't fear for my life at all during that interaction. But that is not the experience that black people feel when they are stopped by the cops. And for him to be able to communicate all of this and really put it into this package where it is... It is finally engaging on these issues in areas that he's never gone before. I mean, this is so incredibly important. Now, when I shared this on Twitter, uh, I'm not going to get into, you know, uh, I don't want to get into too much of this, but one person responded, um, basically, what I would call woke scolding him for talking about the human race. Now, some people are going to take issues with him mentioning human race because they think that it erases the fact that certain people are treated differently. But if you're going to focus so much on his language and miss the bigger picture here of what this does, of educating people, what you are doing is you are discouraging more people like Logan Paul to come out 
and educate their audience on these issues and engage on these issues. Because for a lot of people, look, it's intimidating. For people that aren't in this world, that aren't you know, uh, up to date on what is going on, it is incredibly intimidating for them to get into this world and, and try and, and speak on these issues because they feel, I think correctly uh, much of the time, that they're going to be scolded for not saying things the proper way, for not using the proper terminology. That is not, that is not how we should be treating people like this. If you want to, look, you have to decide, do you want to win an argument or do you want to win? Do you want humanity to succeed? Do you want to win on these issues? Do you want to evolve as a society? Because if you, if you want to evolve, if you actually want to win as a society, as humanity, you have to be able to accept the fact that not everybody is going to be up to date on the terminology, on how you want to frame things. But as long as they are in the fight and on your side, then ultimately that is what matters. And I'm seeing other examples of this as well. There's a, a very close friend of mine who, I don't want to say his name, he told me not to say his name, but a very close friend of mine, he hosts a morning show on the radio, on a country music station. And they spent the entire morning, him and his co-host, educating their audience on racial injustice, on a country music station. And at, by the end of the show, they were basically telling their audience, don't listen to the show anymore if you don't agree with us, if you don't agree on these issues, if, if you can't acknowledge that this is going on. I mean, that kind of stuff is incredibly powerful in its ability to really wake people up. That is where the real progress is made in engaging people who either are apolitical, in the case of Logan Paul, or people that listen to a country music show where you can at least assume are culturally conservative, to be able to engage those sorts of people and educate those people on these issues, that is how you make real progress here. I mean, it's one thing for me to come out and do these videos that are political. People, ex people know what to expect from what I do. I cover politics. You're only going to find me if you want to know what's going on in the world, in, in terms of politics, culture, whatever. But the audiences that are siloed, like the audiences that, that watch Logan Paul for comedy or listen to country music for country music, these people are largely disengaged from what is going on. And being able to educate those audiences on what is happening and get them involved, that is how we win.